Hello, this is Anik and you are watching Education Insider. And today we are covering the topic Big Theta Notation with some examples. And this topic is publishing under the Asymptotic Notations lecture. This is the fourth part and this part is specifically for Big Theta Notation. And basically this topic that is Asymptotic Notations lecture has in total four parts and I'm updating the links of other three parts in the description section below. So now let's start with Big Theta Notation. So just same as big O gives the upper bound and big omega gives the lower bound. So this theta notation gives both. That is, it defines both lower bound as well as upper bound of a function f of n. As you can see in this graph, this f of n is bounded by this upper bound and this lower bound. Okay. So let's move on to some examples. So these are some examples that we will be covering in this tutorial as these are just exactly same as big O and big Omega notation but now these are combined into one notation so we will be doing only two examples of this big theta notation. Now how we will prove two bounds? Now we need to assume the two inequalities at the same time as we did in big O and big Omega but now we have to assume both simultaneously. So now let's populate the values of f of n and g of n on both sides. Now there are two inequalities. One is this and the other one is this. Okay. Now let's split these two inequalities and write them out. Basically we need to prove both inequalities one by one. One is going to prove by big O method and the other one is by big omega. Now let's begin with left side. Here if you notice as we need to prove C1 n square must be less than or equal to this whole half n square minus half n. Okay. But on the right side as something is subtracting from half n. So we must need to prove that this thing is greater. Okay so that the right side must become larger than this c1 n square. So what we need to do here, we need to assume the c1 value as lesser than this value so that this thing must be lesser than this whole uh, thing. Okay. So uh, let's assume one smaller than this half. So that means that we have to subtract one from this half n. Okay, so after subtracting 1 by 2 by minus 1, we will be getting C1 value as 1 by 4. Okay, so if we populate C1 value into this inequality, we will be getting something like this. And after doing some algebra, we will be finding out n not value as 2. Okay, so we have proved big omega notation. Now we need to uh, prove this big O notation. Now here you can see that we have to prove that this side must be smaller than this side. Okay. So if we notice this side that something is subtracting from half n square which makes this side smaller. If we assume C2 value as 1 by 2, then this inequality will hold. So now if we populate C value into this equation, doing some algebra, we will be getting n naught value as 1. So yes, we have proved the upper bound and the lower bound of this function f of n. So let's move to another example number 2. And now again, we need to disprove this as this sign is representing. So first thing first, let's assume the inequality. Now populate the values of f of n and g of n into it. Now split this inequality into two parts. So let's begin proving from left side and check whether the it proves or not. If you notice this equation, here on left side, there is n cube written over here. 
and this is n square which makes this inequality wrong so we say it straightforwardly that this is not possible so this approved and here we will not solve for the other side because if one side is disproved so th there is no need to prove the other side so this was the last video of this topic asymptotic notations if you guys find this helpful then do share and do subscribe to education insider channel this boosts me to make more informative videos and obviously these are very helpful for you guys thank you very much bye bye